I'm Robin Higgins, and this is solubility versus insolubility. So solubility is basically the science word for whether or not something dissolves. So if you put something in a solvent, otherwise known as usually a liquid, but it could be a gas, and it dissolves, uh, makes another solution where you can't tell that there's two separate things, then that is soluble. And if you put it in your solvent and it does not dissolve, never makes one homogeneous solution, then it is not soluble or insoluble. So let's look at two kind of everyday examples we're familiar with. Uh, the first up here is salt, so NaCl. And we all know that if we put a spoonful of salt in water and we wait for some time, we stir it, we mix it around, uh, it's gonna make a solution. You're not gonna see that salt anymore. So this is soluble. Now let's look at another everyday uh, thing that we will notice, and this is adding oil to water. So if we add oil to water, uh, they're gonna not be together, and if we mix it up and we wait some more, uh, they're still not gonna be together. Uh, they're gonna always form back into these two layers. And so this is insoluble. Oil is not soluble in water. And so, a really, uh, and we'll just draw a little oil guy here, they're kind of made of hydrocarbons. We'll just draw a little uh, carbon structure here. And a really popular thing you'll hear with solubility is like dissolves like. And what that means is it's kind of comparing the polarity between your solvent and your solute. So in our first example, our water is our solvent and our salt is our solute. Solute. Um, and sodium chloride is actually ionically bonded, and so when you break it apart and look at it in solution, you're gonna have a bunch of positively charged sodiums and negatively charged chloride ions. Uh, and this is superpolar. So ionic bonds, superpolar. Water is also superpolar. Water, very polar. Uh, and our oil, our hydrocarbons are not very polar, um, and so, they're not gonna be able to dissolve in water and they're always going to be separate. So this is what like dissolves like means. Basically, if they're both polar or they're both nonpolar, they're gonna be soluble. If you have one of one and one of the other, they're not gonna be soluble. And I'm Robin Higgins and this has been Solubility versus Insolubility.